Hey guys, how you doing today? I figured I'd make a video, uh, start a new series kind of thing, miniature series if you would, on uh, you know some faction shorts, the mods I use, how they help me in Minecraft, and uh, the benefits of each. Now, this first video is just going to be on the Schematica mod, which is Forge compatible, and then the second video will be on chunk borders, light loader, uh, you know, scripts, things like that. So let's go ahead and start this video. What is Schematica? What does it do? And how can that benefit me? So let's start this off. Let's say you have a cannon, or you build a cow grinder, or you build a really cool base design, and you want to copy it and build it live game. Now, you can actually do that. You press the multiplication key, because you can open all the mods for Schematica with uh, divide, multiply, subtract. So you press this, and you click red point. So now this point right here is set as your red point. This is the same as using world edit. So if you guys understand what that does, this will be incredibly easy. So let's place multiply again, and press blue point. There we go. So this area has been selected from there to there. Now this can be seen by turning this on. So there we go. Everything in this box will be copied. So let's click, uh, we'll type it as test canon, or test video, whatever, and you save it. So now this area is saved as a dot schematic file, which can be used to upload to your world edit server, it, let's say you have a Canon server or a private server, and you want to upload it. That's great. You can do that by clicking here, clicking open schematic folder, and you can output it. Really nice. So what are the benefits of this mod besides, you know, basic things like that? Well, first off, you can open it, click done, and there you go. Now you have a live game schematic of, in this example, we're using Lean Archer Canon. Okay. This is just a standard, nothing crazy here. Now let's say you don't know how to build it. Okay, this shows you when you pla place a block wrong. God, that's kind of hard to say. And it also shows you the cannon with all the delays. Now, this ca this mod does have an auto build feature, which it doesn't work too well in factions, so I'm not even going to showcase that. It's not that crazy, but it's just called a printer mode here. But, you know, it also has some other cool features, like it actually shows you exactly how many materials you're going to need for this cannon, including the, uh, the grass, because that's set as your, your point one. So just ignore that. But um, you know, building blocks, dispensers, glass, whatever, it shows everything. That's all fine and cool, right? Well let's say you're building a roof cannon or something, you know, that's when you load it in, let's say you load it in, and this is not in the right spot, you need it right here. Well this thing has a cool feature where you can actually move it along X and Y planes and you can also move it height. So let's say that's where you want it, but you need it to go up to and come back. So there you go. You can do it just like that. You can also go into the minus key and press move here, or flip or rotator, whatever you want. I mean, there's some cool features there. You rotated it sideways, so now it's east-west as opposed to north-south. You know, you can do whatever you want with it, and that'll just keep rotating in a circular fashion so you get it how you want your base. But uh, I use this when I'm building new base designs or rooms or floors because it really helps you. Uh, let's say you build like a really cool design, and you're like, oh man, I'll never remember this, and you don't want to open two Minecrafts. It's great, you could just load the schematic, and while you're building your new room, you can just place the blocks it displays. So let's move here. So if you place a block incorrectly, it'll actually turn red. So like right here, there you go, it's red, that's bad. So if you place this, it'll stay blue, and, uh, well, you can't use glowstone on a repeater. But it'll stay blue, and you can, uh, there you go. It'll go orange until you get the delays, like your schematic, and then it goes blue. So it's a pretty cool mod. Enjoy it. Hope you guys enjoy it. I will include a download link to this and Lunastrius's core, which is a uh, dependency you need for this mod. And it's Forge compatible, don't worry. So all you Forge lovers, I'm using Forge right now for 1.7.10. But uh, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you guys want to see some more of these videos, and I'll be going through all my mods. Now, I'm not going to make a video just for MapRider or a video just for Forge. You know, they'll all be together. But next episode will be coming chunk borders and the benefits of that. So I'll see you guys later.